The fans were out in full force on Friday. They're out there for Jason Duffner. Even the VIPs came to watch. Sorry, man. I think Jordan Spieth may be the one who is kind of a big deal. The 2015 FedEx Cup champ went off in the afternoon on Friday at the Northern Trust, trading birdies with open runner-up Matt Kuchar. These two sure know how to give us some fireworks. I mean, come on. Those red numbers just say it all. Five straight birdies for the co-leader? That's kind of a big deal. Spieth almost made his second birdie in a row in Eagle on 11. Yeah, with some spin, this could be close. Oh! <laughs> then bounced back beautifully after a bogey on 15 with this 41-footer on 16. No big deal. 15th in the FedEx Cup standings, Matt Kuchar went even lower than Speed 65, and Chip went in on the 10th for his third birdie in a row. But it was his reaction on the 17th to get to five under that was the best. Wow, what a day he is having. Check out that leaderboard. You want some exciting playoff golf? You've got it. Before Spieth and Cooch's run in the afternoon, co-leader Ricky Fowler got it going to kick things off on Friday. He was locked in and stuck one close on the fourth. Right now turning back towards the flag stick. This should be good as well. <laughs> Playing partner John Rahm, who is just two strokes back, put one just as close moments before. Oh, pretty shot. That's better, that's better than good. That's great. But hashtag golf is hard even for the co-leader. Dustin Johnson took a slightly different route on the fourth and sent golf balls flying right back at him. There was something about that 17th hole on Friday. First, Justin Rose nearly aced it. Oh, this is great. Might have a chance. Ugh. Rory McIlroy found the bullseye to save par. And Jason Day almost did the same. Ooh, almost did better than up and down. But it was Kevin Na's 68 footer that won the hole. Break, break, go, 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 go. Rivaling that for a shot of the day was Webb Simpson's bunker hole out on the ninth. But perhaps the most interesting clip of the day goes to Justin Thomas. He went a little off course on the ninth, but hey, he's a likable guy, so the fans volunteered to start moving picnic tables for him. The cut line was set at plus two. Hideki Matsuyama did not make the weekend, but he's just fine as far as his FedEx Cup standing goes. Brandon Grace, on the other hand, will be watching his ranking all weekend as he missed the cut ranked 100th on the dot. But don't worry, we'll keep you updated all weekend long on PGA Tour Live beginning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. And I'll see you again Saturday night in the takeaway.